Norman again, bruh. Stop Norman! What is going on? Stop Norman. Stop Norman. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Owen oh, 4 with the beard, AKA James Harden is hardening the Clippers chances. Absolutely. I knew it. You knew it. Clippers fans did it. You know, they were rejoicing. They were dancing, singing song in praise for James Harden. Uh, but we beat you. Seems like Grizzlies beat you. Seems like everybody's beating you. We're gonna go ahead and dive into this Clippers Grizzlies game. Go Grizz! Never been such a Grizzly fan in my life. No jaw. And, uh, still managed to beat a healthy Clippers team. Go Grizz! We're gonna go ahead and watch uh, an announcer completely wrecked James Harden a couple days ago. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh, just gonna react to that. He absolutely wrecked him. Just wrecked him. So I just wanna see what he has to say. Talk to us, brother. What do you got to say? That's the producer to pipe this into the Clippers locker room. If I can talk to you, James, I hope you're taking notes. I'm telling you in advance, you're welcome for the wisdom I'm about to spew. Because, listen, I get on my knees every night and pray for someone to believe in me like Daryl Borey believed in you. You wanted a certain coach, they brought in Mike D'Antoni. You want to play a certain style, they played it. You wanted Dwight Howard, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. You wanted Chris Paul, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. They brought in your old friend Russell Westbrook. You want to go to Vegas on off days? They looked away. You wanted the team to stay over so you could go out at night? They changed the schedule, and it didn't work. And you know what? You said, I'm going to break up with my Whoopi. Not good enough. I see the bright lights in New York. I want to go there. My old pal, Kevin Durant. It's going to work. The big three. And all after one year, you won it out. You realized, oh my gosh, I took this guy for granted. The guy that believed in me. I went back with Daryl Morey. They traded Ben Simmons for you. How did they pull that off? And you know what? You went there and you got a partner who got the MVP. He won the MVP. And what did you say afterwards? You said, they didn't hand me the reins. You're the point guard. You're holding the reins. And what did you do when you had the reins? You scored nine points in game seven against Boston. You blew a 3-2 series lead. So they co they fired their coach. Not good enough. You broke up with the guy believing in you again. You said, the bright lights of LA, that's where I want to go. Let's see if that works. Listen, James, have you ever had those friends who had bad roommates? Over and over, they complained about their bad roommates. This guy's terrible, the bad roommate here. They never thought to be self-aware enough that they're the bad roommate. They're the problem. Hey, James, you're the problem. If this doesn't work this year in this system with this team, then you're going to go and point fingers at everybody else, and you're going to go back home, and you're going to start swiping right for another team, and there's not going to be anybody left. Because, James, you're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. God. Oh, my absolute lord he just violated james harden in a way that no one else could what james me personally just the way i'm set up james me personally i'm not i'm just this is not gonna fly with me but that's just me i don't know you might be just a cool chill guy but me personally i'm not i'm not taking that that's just me. Oh my, me. I'm not, I don't mean to instigate. <laughs> I'm just saying, me personally, you would never catch me letting somebody do me like this and they put the soundtrack over him. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, buddy. You gotta get your get back this season. Seriously. Cause I, look, I'm not, I'm not the one hating on you, bro. It's, you know, uh, look, bro. I'm not trying to instigate, but bro, they're out there calling you barbecue chicken, James Harden. They calling you barbecue chicken, bro. Real talk. I mean, look, look, they hopping all. Jaron, step right in there. Nice little floater. They're calling you barbecue chicken on defense. James, look at you, James. They calling you barbecue chicken. Oh, they're dancing all through y'all. Oh, they're dancing right through you. They're, you're barbecue chicken. You're barbecue chicken on defense. Ty Lu, And now they want to fire Ty Lu now. Clippers fans calling for fire Ty Lu. I said, y'all are sick, bro. Y'all are sick. <laughs> I just have to be honest with y'all. Y'all are really sick. 
You'll score this easily. Barbecue chicken on defense. Jaron, what happens when they get jaw back? Like, what are you going to do then? What's your excuse? You have a fully... L.A. Hoops is never done. Did you see that on the side? He said L.A. Hoops is never done. No, no, Lakers Hoops is never done. Stop it. Ka uh, Kawhi still doing that little... What the... How did that even work? They got P.J. Tucker in there as well. Oh, oh James, James! With the three-step layup! With the three-step... Okay, so he's primary ball handler. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got a little motion, but I just want to see their little setup. What are they doing? So Russell's right now on the floor with PG, okay? Okay. I just want to see who I can blame. Russell outlet pass to PG. Absolutely. Russell looked like he's doing well. I, I pray to God they don't point the finger at Russell. Because with the Clippers, he was doing well. He had his he was better defined in his role there. So if they try to sit there and somehow turn this on him like they force him into another role and then he doesn't do well because that's not where he's supposed to be yeah i just hope they don't do him like we did him i'm gonna be honest i hope they don't i hope they don't okay barbecue chicken watch james barbecue chicken barbecue chicken Good God. Zubats! Nice little outlet pass. James and uh, Russell playing together. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. 42 to 42. This is not bad so far. This is not bad, right? All right? Oh, oh. Almost lost it. Barbecue chicken. He walks through five people. You have no defense, Clippers. Let's 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 let, 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 let's start there. No, yeah, yeah, just take it. The Clippers have no defense. That's what we've learned. Like that's the big takeaway from all this. Clippers have no. Look at him. Paul George is mad, confused. What are you gonna say in your podcast, brother? You do you really want to tell us the truth? What's going on down there? You have no defense. Let's talk about it on the pod, Paul George pod. Mm hmm. There you go, Paul. I, if there's anybody I'll ever root for on the Clippers, it's Paul George. Okay? His favorite player was Kobe. Laker fan. Big Laker fan. You know. You got to vote for. Uh, you got to root for Paul. Another play where they're getting cooked on defense. Oh, barbecue chicken. Well, that's just a mismatch right there. But that's barbecue chicken. That's barbecue chicken. James. They're up by 10 now. This is so pathetic. Look, if you have a parlay, go ahead and bet against the Clippers every time. That's just an easy layup for a little good little parlay. This is not betting advice. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is bad though, y'all. What's up, Clippers? I don't even want to rub it in y'all face. I don't want to rub it in. But it's just looking like you... You can't defend a bucket of water. That's what it looked like. I could put a bucket of water with a basketball in it in front of you, and it would score three points. I don't know how. Oh, oh, he put the moves on you. Ooh, that was tough. Not enough, but was tough. Shred him. Shred him, Jaron. Shred him. Okay. Mark is smart. Wheeling and dealing again. Another barbecue chicken play. Everybody's just cutting, cutting, running. Oh, whoa. No, didn't do much for me. Kind of boring dunk, actually. Corner three, yeah, boring. We don't really care. Cut it back to the clip, to the Grizzlies. Oh, here we go, another one. Regular pick and roll. Loses the ball, typical. Uh, still bored. Okay. I'm a Hall of Fame hater, guys. What can you expect? Uh, uh, Norman. Norman for three. That's normal. 84 to 79. Come on. Come on, Grizzlies. Grizzlies. All right, Grizzlies. Quit playing now. We're coming back. Um. OK, 
Okay, smart. Marcus, Marcus. Guys, guys, what are we doing? We were doing so well, Grizzlies. Go, Grizz! There we go. Okay, so now it's tied. 16 to 2 run in the last four minutes. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Force it up there. Go, Grizz! The grit and the grind. Was their little slogan? Go, Grizz! Stop, stop it. Stop Paul George, bruh. I don't care about anybody else. Stop Paul George. That's the guy. Oh, God, no. Norman again, bruh. Stop Norman! What is going on? Stop Norman. Stop Norman. If we don't... Hey, Grizzlies. Let's all focus on Norman. There goes Steve. Focus on Norman. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mind you, Grizzlies shouldn't even be this close. Stop it. Stop it. In no world should the Grizzlies be this close. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. No. Get him, idiot. What did you sit there? Is that Joe Ingles? I pray to God that wasn't Joe Ingles that I saw. I just, I, I pray. I'm praying. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's effort, Marcus. That's effort, Marcus. Love that out of you, Marcus. Please cover him. Oh, good defense, big defense. There's so many different weapons. Yeah, this way. There's so many weapons to guard on the Clippers. The fact that they're not killing is so crazy. Come on, man. Sink them. Like, think about using this team on 2K. You got Harden, Kawhi, Paul George, and then you got a bunch of shooters. Like, stop it. This team should be amazing. They're just barbecue chicken. Harden came in there and just messed it all up. <laughs> Y'all, tell me what you think it is in the comments below. Like, what? What? Oh my gosh. Y'all just try. Who? Which one of the rest? Put put Clippers in a in a little sports betting, huh? Who who had Clippers money line? Like please, I know they didn't just do that. Stop dragging it, bro. Stop dragging it. They they had a parlay riding on the Clippers today. That's what it was. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's a foul. Yeah, that's that's a foul. It's over. Let James take it. Strip Club James! 4-3! Yep, not gonna cut it. <laughs> it's not gonna cut it. Okay? Hater Katie is in the building. Full effect. You're 0-4. I don't care if you win the next one, two, three games. We're gonna revel in this moment right here. Because, I'm sorry, but you kinda deserve it, Clippers. All the yapping. We're gonna build a new stadium. This is the real LA. 0-4. Oh. Four healthy stars. Not like a LeBron and AD situation. No, no, no. You have one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Do you need any more? Now they trying to talk about Ty Lu. Stop, brothers. Stop, sisters. Just be real. It's the Clipper curse. They'll never win anything. Anyway. Like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below what you guys think, and subscribe to the Splash Squad. Click the little bell if you want to be notified every time I post, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!